Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Howard. I will be practicing the piano. Let's get with it. Meeting call to order.
can't give you anything but YouTube videos, baby. That's the only thing I have plenty of, my baby. Dream a while, scheme a while, give me thumbs up and subscribe. cigarettes. Smoke them right over here every day. We're proud of that. And the smokers, they're the, they're the creative people, I found. That's why they smoke. I've had some great conversations with them, the designers. These are the people that design the hats for crying out loud. changing I want the, I want the lighting to stay the same I want it locked in like that anyway 
I always think of the Beretta, a Beretta episode I saw like 50 years ago. And Beretta, the coolest guy in the world, right? Of course, he had some, he had some problems later on uh, with the law and stuff. But, but anyway, back to his acting. He said, if you, if you want to, if you're hiding out from the police, sell pencils on the sidewalk in front of the police station. You know? So I always think of that, because we're, we're here selling donuts and stuff right outside the U.S. Attorney's Office where they plan all the big raids and stuff. You think if we were planning like bank heists and stuff, they 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 look right past us because we're like right outside their door, right? Who would who would pay attention to that, right? I could have stolen this piano, and they'd probably not notice because it's like it's just so obvious. These are the things we think about downtown. Watching all the movers and shakers shaking and moving. Wait till they see my newest, my newest scheme that I'm getting close to rolling out.
That's from Damsel in Distress. by George and Ira Gershwin. They sure wrote great songs, didn't they? And he could play that George. He could also smoke cigars really well. And play at the same time. That's like having an extra finger with that big cigar in his mouth. That's like having 11 fingers right there. Most people can't play with 10. I use nine and a half. But, you know, the rain and the wind doesn't uh, penetrate the old mansion here very much. It's, uh, you, bear, you, you really don't, there's no creaking or the, you could have hurricanes and the building doesn't budge. You just, they're always, it's always the same in here, you know, it's kind of nice. The one room, I got a, we've got a stage room over here. And this is an open area, so that's one story. It has a high ceiling, and it's just trusses up there. So you could hear, if you go over there, you could hear rain hitting the roof. So that's kind of good. It gives you a clue that maybe there's something going on in the world that you should know about. I was never spellbound by a starry sky. This verse always throws people off. What is there to move if love has passed you by? Then there came a midnight and the world was new. You. 
You don't know what song this is, do you? Fools them every time. At last. See, now, normally I'd probably just blow off the practicing, but you guys are keeping me honest, holding my feet to the fire with your comments and fingers and thumbs on YouTube. And it makes it so much fun. The time races away. Okay, we'll do this song tomorrow. It's another Gershwin tune. I'd love to do it right now. But the wife and cat are preparing a great dinner for me. So I'm going to do that. Thanks again. Does it look like I'm underwater? Till tomorrow. Keep practicing. <laughs>